We have a GMA health alert now. A study released overnight finds education tools for your pediatrician could help reduce your child's likelihood of developing a peanut allergy. Chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, is here to break it on down. Now we know this isn't the only food allergy, but it is the most prominent one when it comes to American kids. So what should parents know about how widespread this is? Exactly, well, 8% of kids have food allergies. 2% of those are peanut allergies. And that number has gone up since the late 90s when it was only about 0.4%. It's a quality of life issue for families. It's an economic yeah. burden, and there's always the looming fear of anaphylaxis. And so it used to be in the past that if you were worried your kid might develop a peanut allergy, you actually didn't give them peanuts until they were older. In 2015, there was a landmark study released that changed all of that. It said that actually by exposing kids who are at higher risk to peanuts earlier on, four to six months of age, you actually could reduce the risk of mm. developing peanut allergies by about 80%. The problem is that even though this changed the guidelines sure. since 2017, we still see about 20 to 30% of pediatricians only really Really promoting this new guidance mm -hmm. about early exposure. So break down the study a little bit more what we found. So this study looked at if we intervened in pediatric practices and gave pediatricians and practices video trainings, handouts to give parents, education uh, in the electronic medical record and reporting prompts, and also screenings for eczema, could mm -hmm. we improve the counseling that they gave? So they looked at 30 pediatric practices in Illinois, about 18,000 kids, and they found that in those practices that got that intervention for low risk kids about 84 percent received the appropriate guidance versus about 35 percent that did not again in the intervention practices for high risk kids about 27 percent received the appropriate guidance and 10 percent did not so clearly that training is improving the pediatrician's ability to give the right message out now they're going to look longer term to see does it actually okay. reduce the development of allergies all right i'm a little scared here because how do you <laughs> go about introducing it in a safe Right. In a safe I think way. It can be really scary for right. parents. Of course. And so, you know, really the guidance breaks kids down into three groups. There's low risk kids, those who do not have eczema or egg allergies. And for those kids, there's no real risk of introducing it to them at any okay. stage. So you just do it when it's appropriate for your family. In moderate risk kids, those are the ones that have mild or moderate eczema, you should be introducing peanut products around six months. And for high risk kids, those who have severe eczema or egg allergies, you want to get them tested for Ig antibodies. That's a blood test. And then based on that, if they're negative, you introduce those peanut products at four to six months. And if not, obviously, then meeting with an allergist mm. or your doctor. But when you do it, mm. you want to set aside about two hours to kind of watch your baby, yeah. take two teaspoons of peanut product, mix it with some hot water formula, breast milk, or pureed vegetables or fruit, mm -hmm. give it to them a small amount and watch them for about 10 minutes to look for any signs of hives, mm. uh, you know, throat, tongue swelling, itching, vomiting, nausea, anything like that. If they tolerate it, then you continue to feed them. And then over over the next several weeks, you kind of bring it into their schedule, so two to three times a week over the next few months. And that's how you introduce it. But you don't want to use, you know, peanuts, chunky peanut butter, anything that's lumpy mm. that could be a choking yeah, hazard. That's so that's this important. Is fascinating. It is. It is. Yes, early introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it.